Okay. This this right here triggered me to the point, and don't look at this. Just listen to what I'm saying. This triggered me so much, I was going off all day today. Read what this says. This says, since they wanted this administration, we've been driven by one idea to make New Jersey the best, the best place anywhere to raise a family. He is lying out of his teeth. A state with great affordability? Are you crazy? Are you smoking that old weed that you're not telling us about. Safe communities, BS. Black people are under attack in the state of New Jersey. And fundamental rights that are secure without a question. Now, he done lost his ever-loving mind. My nephew is currently incarcerated in a New Jersey state prison where the correction officers are refusing to give him clean clothes for six months because I filed a discrimination lawsuit against the New Jersey judiciary. They are sending correction officers after him to attack him. They are not giving him his medication. They are over-medicating him. They are giving him medication that caused him to have seizures, stomach issues. They are refusing to give him access to the phone. They are refusing to let the family visit him. They are refusing to respect him and any his civil rights in any way, shape, or form simply because I filed a discrimination lawsuit against the New Jersey judiciary for discrimination, harassment, and retaliation. He got to be out of his ever-loving mind for him to even say something like that. Like Cat Williams said, this is the year of truth and you don't lost your ever loving mind. If you thinking you're going to sit here and make these claims about what you are doing for the state of New Jersey, when three black women, not one, not two, but three black women are currently suing you for discrimination, harassment and retaliation. I have called your office and was saying how my nephew was being abused in your correctional facility and I'm only getting Oh, you got to put something in writing. He is not safe. Are y'all out of y'all out your mind? You thinking we going to stand here and we going to sit here and we just going to go like, are you dumb? I literally had to write a book about what was done and the things that I'm reporting in regards to the New Jersey judiciary because y'all want to cover them up. And the state has figured out how to silence black people. When you file a lawsuit, as soon as you settle the case, the, the, the court documents are sealed. The state of New Jersey has several cases right now where people are suing for discrimination. As a matter of fact, in my case, the New Jersey attorney general for the state of New Jersey is representing the people that I'm calling racist. Allegedly that I'm suing. Allegedly, the attorney general for the state of New Jersey has three black people suing them for being racist as we speak. And I guarantee you. Those court documents are sealed and the public will not know how those three attorney generals, those three black attorney generals were treated in the state of New Jersey by the New Jersey attorney general's office. They're literally being sued right now for discrimination while my I have two lawsuits pending against them. And you think that we're going to get treated fair and you literally locked up my nephew and incarcerated him because of my lawsuit? But now you sitting here and saying that since the beginning of time, New Jersey has always been a stop lying. Stop your lies, you foolish girl, in the words of Theo. Now, it is several reasons why I say my nephew's case is directly affected to mine. Number one, the state of New Jersey said his case was a conflict because I was a probation officer in the county where he was on probation. So the state of New Jersey said it was a conflict. They transferred that case to Union County from Middlesex County. When I continue to complain about the way black people were treated because they were treated like slaves, they transferred his case from Union County back to Middlesex County where the conflict existed and issued a court order against me saying that I cannot have a conversation with anybody about what's happening with my nephew. So if I see crimes being committed because I'm a state employee, I cannot report those crimes being committed. And this is what they've said on the record. This is not what I'm saying. This is what they're saying on the record. I cannot report crimes being committed because it's confidential. I was fired for creating the conflict that they created. They said I created a conflict by going to his hearing and doing this when they created the conflict by transferring the case that they said was a conflict back in the county. That's two reasons why I feel he's incarcerated because of me. That's the third reason he was charged with robbery when no robbery took place. 
even in the police report, it says, well, we don't know what happened here. Literally, it was a, my, the guy tried to hit my nephew with the wet floor sign. My nephew defended himself. They charged him with second degree robbery. Like, how do you get a robbery charge and nobody tried to take no money? The victim never said my nephew tried to steal from him. But all of a sudden, in Middlesex County, New Jersey, it's a robbery charge. Number three. Number four. Literally, they f- signed him five year nearer. No early release act. As soon as I found my lawsuit, I put in there the prosecutor, the public defender and everybody what they did with his case. They gave him a pool attorney. That pool attorney immediately filed a motion to dismiss it. My nephew should have never been offered his plea in the first place. He should have never been offered the plea that he was given. Why was he offered that plea for five years? No early release that he's a violent felon for his first offense. Because I was reporting them for being racist and they wanted to teach him a lesson. He's a black man in America. They wanted to teach him a lesson. He can't even advocate for himself. He has mental health issues. He has the mental capacity of a 13 year old. He does not understand right from wrong. An uh, independent evaluation was conducted and it said he qualifies for not guilty by reason of insanity. Based off that evaluation, the state of New Jersey should have never convicted him. Guess what they did? Convict him anyway. He a black man in New Jersey. In addition to that, he was on probation. He was on parole. Parole put him in a facility. There's a video camera of this entire incident. The state of New Jersey, New Jersey parole will not release the videotape to his attorney. His attorney at his hearing is demanding a copy of this videotape. They do not want to release it. All they have, if I'm lying, sue me for liable, hold me accountable, release the tape. She lying on us. She's saying all this... uh, Release the tape of the incident that happened when my nephew was attacked. The state of New Jersey, the the Department of Corrections is saying my nephew is a threat to the entire state because somebody physically assaulted him. That is why he's a threat to because somebody physically assaulted him. There's a videotape. They don't want to release the tape. When they went to my the attorney that we hired and my attorney was telling about the videotape, they told the attorney and I have the emails. There is no videotape. Then all of a sudden, oh, it is a videotape, but we don't want to. Why don't you want to release evidence? The evidence could be exculpatory. The state of New Jersey Department of Corrections is literally keeping evidence and refusing to release it in my nephew's case. They are refusing to release the videotape. And at the same time, he's sitting here saying it's safe for everybody. Rights and also have you lost your ever loving mind? You said this with a straight face early this morning. You you literally said this yesterday with a straight face. Like, no cocaine involved or nothing. I can't even believe this. My nephew is literally in a, in Trenton State Prison. Somebody just did a video about Trenton State Prison being the worst prison. You in Trenton State, you got 25 years or more. My nephew had three years nearer, and they put him in Trenton State. They're locking him up to 2025 because I filed a discrimination lawsuit against the racist New Jersey employees because they don't like black people. They treat black people like slaves. I was a black employee. I was treated like crap. I reported being treated like crap. They came after me and they came after my nephew. They are, they were this, the correction officers at Trenton state prison refused to give him a change of clothes for six months. I called the governor, this governor, this lion ass governor right here and told him, Oh, we can't, we can't do nothing about it. And they try to, oh, is it a lawsuit pending? If it's a lawsuit pending, we can't do nothing. You got you are a piece of SHIT if I've never seen one in my life. Y'all done lost your mind. I'm trying to calm down, and I didn't want to do it earlier when I saw this. I'm trying to remain calm so I could get my points out and not be upset and not being seen as an angry black woman. But the fact that you're playing in my face in 2024, we're not going to do that. You literally have a mentally ill man locked up in prison Because I filed a lawsuit against the racist New Jersey judiciary. And I'm on y'all next. I'm telling everybody and their mama what you did and how you did it. And if you don't like the fact that I'm talking, you shouldn't have did what you did. Because not only do I have my lawsuit, it's two other black women that had a lawsuit. Not only do I have my lawsuit, but I wrote a book about it. In addition to my book, I did a documentary about it. I will not be silenced and I will not shut up about the corruption in the state of New Jersey. So before you sit here and tweeting out these tweets, because you thinking you're going to get some votes, baby, I'm going to be at every campaign and I'm letting everybody know what you did. LaRishaSpeaks.com is my website. All the information is there. You got to, you don't lost your daggone mind. And you think that people in the state of New Jersey appreciate how they're being treated. In addition to what's happening to my nephew, 
Do you know how many people y'all got in these prisons? It's nine to one. 